being a pensioner was all about tea dances and blue rinses, think again. Schools in Preston are inviting grandparents back to class to help children learn some of the important skills of yesteryear. Here's Keris Griffiths with the details. She's a 60-year-old grandmother with a lifetime of experience under her belt. And Gwen Hurst is determined to share some of that with youngsters at St Matthew's Primary School. She works alongside teachers and teaching assistants, but comes into her own with skills outside the standard curriculum. And what do you think I was doing in my kitchen? Baking cakes. I was baking cakes. Can you remember when we baked cakes last time? What did we use? Do you remember we did cakes? The demise of the nuclear family can mean that many children have little contact with older relatives, so they miss out on the skills traditionally passed on from generation to generation. So age concern in Preston has set about trying to address the problem and bridge the gap. If we're doing cooking, they probably ask me because I'm older and, uh, you know, you decorate cakes and you show children hygiene. And perhaps because I'm older, perhaps they can talk to me. I don't know, more than the younger ones, They'll, they will come and sit with you, they'll sit with you at dinner time and talk to you, and so you get an insight into the children, and perhaps they follow your, your manners and things like that, which is, a, personally, I think is a good thing. When we get things not right, yeah, she gives us a tick, and sometimes when we get it wrong, she helps us with our work, she tells us everything. It's good to have people in school, and we care for one and each other. So, after a hard day learning how to read and write, Gwen's traditional skill sessions really are the icing on the cake. Yeah, those cakes look great. Well done to Granny there. She always knows best now.